Hey folks, I'm Scott Carter with GatorZone.com. I'm here with Chris Harry, who uh, keeps a close eye on Florida's number one ranked basketball team. And Chris, you were up in uh, Nashville on Tuesday night. Florida's first game is number one, and it was a tight one, but they survived again. And uh, how did they survive that one, Chris? Well, one of the things was Billy Diamond talked to his team about you get number one ranking for the first time since 2007. Everyone's going to give you your best shot. Now, that's not to say they weren't getting their best shot when they were number two or number five or what have you, but everyone's going to be coming after them now, and that certainly was the case in Memorial Gym. Four out of the last five opponents, they made a big deal out of this up in Nashville. Four out of the last five number one opponents that had ventured into Nashville had lost at Memorial Gym. They were banking on another one of those kind of games, or at least hoping for one. And Florida played pretty well in the first half, but uh, Vanderbilt started hitting some three-point shots. The game got a little hairy at the end, and like uh, the Gators have been able to do the last few games, they're able to get tough down, the, down at the end of the game. They're able to score when they had to score, and just as importantly, they were able to get stops when they had to get stops. And that's become the calling card of this team to kind of ratchet it up a gear late in the game when they really have to, and that's good and that's bad. You don't want to have to always be counting on that to hit to hit that gear late in the game yeah. uh, you'd like to maybe give yourself a better cushion along the line and that's something I'm sure Billy Donovan is talking to his team right now heading into as we're about to turn the calendar into March you know as uh, speaking of Vanderbilt one final time as Dorian Finney-Smith hit that big three-pointer obviously Memorial Gym went solid I heard a little cheer here in Gainesville and you know it's kind of been that way lately there's been some real close games here in the last couple weeks for Florida Beat Auburn by five, beat Ole Miss by four, okay. won by three at Vandy, and now LSU comes to town. I mean, just what, what have you seen maybe different from the early portion of the SEC schedule as opposed to these last few games where it's it's been closer games? The the, the common denominator in those three games, five, five point win, four point win, three point win, is defense. The last six opponents, in fact, have shot a combined six, uh, excuse me, 48% from the floor and 42% from three point range. Now the Gators have forced some turnovers. They forced 11 turnovers and put them in pretty position, pretty good position in the first half of that game against Vanderbilt. But they really got to tighten up what they're doing or around the three-point line, and especially on the road, teams are going to get hot, and you want to give yourself a bigger margin for error, especially when it comes to that three-point shooting. But Gators are going to have to pay some attention to extending that defense and try to make uh, that three-point shot a little less friendly for the opponents. Next up for the Gators is LSU uh, back here on Saturday afternoon at the O-Dome. Obviously, Florida is looking for win number 21 overall, number 31 in a row here at home, both school records. It's an LSU team, Chris, that comes to town. Uh, when you look at this team, how do they match up with the Gators? Uh, they match up very well with the Gators. John Pelfrey has the scout for this game, and he says they're the second most individually talented team in the league behind Kentucky. And it's funny that it's LSU because 25 years ago to the day, to this Saturday, wow. the Gators clinched their first ever SEC title at LSU. Uh, the 1989 uh, SEC championship team, Gators, will be honored with a reunion. They'll be honored at halftime of that game Saturday. That game will be nationally televised on CBS, so it should be a – Pretty jacked up crowd, second to last game. Of course, we've got senior day next week, but Saturday afternoon in the O-Dome should be pretty crazy. Well, Chris, you know, speaking of uh, that 89 Gators team, I'm old enough to actually remember that, and I think you are too. Yeah. So it's good. it could be a fun day here on Saturday. You know, LSU in town, the Gators have the SCC title, the 89 team being honored. We're going to be there. We hope you guys are too. Until next time, it's uh, Chris Harry and Scott Carter for GatorZone.com.